Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about implicit wait timeout in Selenium WebDriver. So this is one of the most important topic in Selenium WebDriver. Let's see why it is the most important one. Okay. So generally, when you are executing any Selenium script, what you will do? First, we will launch the web browser. Then we will navigate to any web page. Once the page is loaded, then we will perform the actions, right? So before performing any action, what we will do, we will try to identify the element. We'll try to find any element, right? So after we found the element, then only we can perform the actions. So if you're not able to find the element, you can't perform the actions, right? So here the element identification takes the more priority, right? So for element identification, we have so many locators in Selenium, like ID, name, class name, expa, CSS selector, like that, right? So even though we use those locators correctly, sometimes we end up with no such element exception. Why? Let's see why and let also see how to rectify that. So what generally happens is when you are dealing with this web applications, if you are going from one web page to another web page or within the web page, some controls actually when you fire any event, like for example, if you take a drop down, when you change the value, maybe a text box will be displayed. Okay, something like that. So when you perform something, some other elements will be visible. Okay. So in this case, what happens even before that element is actually attached to the DOM and display for the user, Selenium WebDriver will try to identify that element. So in that case, by the time Selenium WebDriver is actually identifying that element, that element is not present on the DOM. Okay. It may take some time to actually load into the DOM. So during that time, the element is not actually present in the screen. So Selenium WebDriver will throw the exception for us. That is no such element. So how we can avoid that? So to do that, what we can do, we can tell Selenium WebDriver to wait for some time, then try to identify the elements. And if still the element is not available, then throw me the exception. You can tell something like this, right? So how are we going to do that? So we can take the help of this implicit wait timeout and we can mention some specific time. Okay, let's say for example, 10 seconds. So within the 10 seconds, if the element is not actually available in the web page, then Selenium WebDriver will throw the exception for us. So let me just show you the real time example, how it actually looks like. So let me just open the Chrome. I'm going to use this website, HVR Tutorials. So I'll simply mouse around Selenium practice. I click on Weights Practice. Okay, so here I have two buttons. So if I click on this first button, it is going to display me one text box here. Then the second button also same thing. It will display me one text box. But the first button, this one, if you click on this, the text box will be displayed after five seconds. Okay. And if you click on this button two, this one, add text box two, then the text box will be displayed after 10 seconds. Okay. So that's the difference actually. So you can use this page for practice. Okay. So let me just copy the URL. I'll go to the Eclipse. So here I have created one class that is implicit weight test. So here I'm just launching the Chrome driver. I'm just setting this window size just to show you side by side comparison. Okay. The Eclipse console and the Chrome browser. Okay. So this one is not required. This is not a mandatory one. So next I'm going to navigate to the web page. Okay. So after going to this page, so let me show you this one. Actually, I click on this button. Now see it is taking some time and after some time it is displaying the text box, right? So let me just inspect the button first. So this button has one ID. So this is what I want to do. Okay. I click on the button. Then I want to enter some text into the text box. So that is my operation. So let me just do that. Find element by id dot click okay so after clicking i'll simply print button one is clicked just for my reference okay so after this i want to enter the text into text box so let me just inspect the text box so this text box also has one id okay so I'll just say by ID dot send keys. I'll enter hello. 
okay so this is my operation without any weights or anything first i want to execute this and let's see how actually it will work okay what exception we will get how it will work so now let me just execute this so i'm just minimizing this so you can see the console here and the browser will be open here in this place okay so the web page is loaded and you can see the button one is clicked and immediately after clicking on this button we got the exception here right even before this text box is actually shown we got an exception why because selenium doesn't internally wait for some time okay selenium doesn't know how much time it has to wait so this is taking five seconds this is taking 10 seconds or maybe some elements take minutes so what selenium will do actually is so let me just maximize this so it has executed this piece of code okay this line then immediately it will come to this line so it printed this button one is clicked and it didn't bother about the web page okay whether the element is loaded or not after this line it will try to execute this line but this text box one this txt one is not actually available in the dom okay by the time it is looking the element is not available in the dom so it thrown the exception so what is that exception no such element exception right so it is unable to locate the element by using this id but if you look at this dom we have this element see txt1 is there so that is the thing okay so sometimes it happens in our web applications maybe because of network speed or the application speed or anything sometimes it takes a little fraction of seconds to load the elements so we should identify that time like how much time maximum it is taking like 10 seconds or 5 seconds or something like that so then we have to handle that one okay so now let's see how we can write this implicit weight so this implicit weight is actually we are setting this to the entire browser session the driver session okay so if you have to change anything to the driver configuration then you have to do that at the driver initialization level itself okay so driver dot and also we are going to use this manage this options interface is the one which we need to use for modifying any configuration for the web driver right manage dot so as i said implicit weight is also one kind of timeout right so it falls under this timeout interface dot implicitly weight we were saying implicit weight timeout but the actual method name here is implicitly weight okay so this has two parameters one is time and the other one is time unit so i'll just give five seconds here and the time unit i will say seconds so you don't have to type the time unit you have to pick from the enum okay the enum name is time unit and here i'm picking the value that is seconds okay the default implicit weight in the selenium web driver is zero seconds okay so let me show you so this is the web driver w3 specifications website okay so once you open this you go to timeouts so here you can see implicit weight timeout default is zero seconds okay so that means selenium will not wait for any second internally by default okay so from the moment where you initialize this implicit weight the next following statements will be executed with this implicit weight but before this the time will be zero seconds only okay so that is the reason it is always advisable to use at the driver initialization level so now let me execute this so this time i shouldn't get any exceptions it should be executed smoothly right so let me execute so let me just minimize this also see button one is clicked the text box is displayed and it entered the hello text also right so that is because of this implicit weight only okay so this is how you have to handle the implicit weight so as i said you can give this implicit weight any time like from zero to anyway the default time is zero so from one to any time you can go here but it is always recommended that you choose this implicit weight as less as possible okay just because you are getting no such element exception you cannot give two minutes or five minutes here 
in that case what happens this will definitely increase your execution time why because if there is a failure in your test because of like element is not available or anything so in that case the execution time will increase rapidly so that is the reason your implicit wait should be very minimal okay maximum it should be like 30 seconds or 45 seconds you should stick to the timing okay it also depends on your application speed and network speed that is about implicit wait so i hope you understand this video if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye